Mary Dawn with MD's Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share in the alert button so you know what's going all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. We're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Gin Mill Channel. It is Monday again, and it's officially the first Friday of December, which is the best day ever for people like me and a lot of my colleagues. Happy Bartender Appreciation Day to all of my friends in the bar world, industry out there. Happy National Bartender Appreciation Day. Love it. Anyways, let's bring in Miss Judy Gannon and see what's going on with her. Hi, Judy. Hi. Happy Bartender's Day. Yay. It's forever. We don't get a lot of this stuff. I'm so excited. It is pretty exciting. I agree. You know, I wish there were presents involved, but there's not. <laughs> I love your hair today. You have this nice wavy look going on. It's actually from the rain. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's been drizzling on and off all day, and I've been running around, so I said, ah, we're going to just go with it for tonight, because later tonight, I don't care what I look like, because I'm going to be cheering like crazy. Yes, you will be. That's right, guys. It's Buffalo Bills versus New England Patriots, and that's Judy's team. It is. But just give us this one. Come on, please. All right, you can have this one. <laughs> Yay! Go Bills, everybody. Go Bills tonight. I'll be down, if you're local, I'll be down at Bogies and Stogies right after the show. We're going to be down there just cheering on our team and taking that W home so we become first place in our division. There you go. Yes. So just uh, the greatest bartender, even though it's fictional of all time, our late night watch on Hulu or anyone's favorite, just – little appreciation for Mr. Sam Malone. Yes. Yay! <laughs> this is my real job. That's right, guys. Yay. Again, happy bartender appreciation day to everybody. So generally, we chat a little bit and then we make a drink, but we're making a hot drink tonight. Yes, we did. Spiked Mexican hot cocoa. Oh, my goodness. So let me know and let you know what you're drinking at your house. I've got a little wine right now, but set that aside because we can't wait any longer because our hot cocoa is going to get cold if we don't do what we're going to do now. So Judy's got her stuff. I got my stuff. We're going to make it a little bit different, each one of us. But this is Mexican or spiked Mexican hot cocoa. So... Basically, you're going to use a tequila. You can use an Anejo, a Reposado, a Blanco, a Silver, whatever you want. I was going back and forth between Miss nope. Kylie Jenner's Gross. tequila and the Jonas Brothers Anejo that I've got. So I'm going to go with Anejo because Judy's got a Blanco over there. So get yourself your hot cocoa. Mine's got little baby marshmallows. Do you have baby marshmallows, Judy? Oh, she's not on. She'll be right back. So... Let's just wait for her to come back in, and she'll be here any second. So, there she is. Hi! <laughs> do you have mini marshmallows in your cocoa? I do have mini marshmallows in my cocoa. Me too. Okay. All so right. We're going to do two ounces of tequila in here, and I'm using the Jonas Brothers Villa One Anejo. Judy's got the Blanco. I do. So, just do about two ounces. You can do as much as you want, but... Pop that in. Now that's a lot of booze. So a lot of booze. And you're mixing it with sugar, so you're gonna have a headache, I bet. But probably. <laughs> here's the kicker. Okay. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right. Mm hmm I am scared to death of this one. Yeah, I am too. Mix it all together. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. <laughs> I can't get the whole game. Blah. But they say that tequila and cocoa go together like rice and beans. I mean, they say that it's, you should be drinking shots of tequila with like a nice piece of chocolate, you know, like you get in that thing, that Whitman sampler that someone gives you at Christmas and you really didn't want it, but you eat it all anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I got my cayenne mixed in. Got my tequila in there. I'm gonna drop a cinnamon stick in. Now, Judy, what do you got in yours? Now, I did not have cinnamon sticks, so I just have like a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon in mine. Okay. All right. And then I'm putting a little extra, a little whipped cream. A little whipped cream on top? Why not? Okay, now that looks fabulous. Look at this. Looks beautiful. All right, so you gonna try yours? All right, are we ready? Oh God. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not, I can't put my finger on this taste of my mouth. It's not but, terrible, guys. No. I mean, I taste the tequila the most, and then I'm getting that cinnamon on the very tip of my tongue. I mean, cayenne, excuse me. Yeah, and, a, and like the, the sweet from the chocolate that comes in. Ooh, <laughs> now it's getting in there. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know about Florida, but if you're where it's snowing, this will warm you up. Warm you right up. <laughs> it's not bad. It's really not bad. You guys, Mexican spiked hot cocoa. Like I said, use any tequila you want. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a cinnamon stick, hot cocoa, some marshmallows, whipped cream. You're good to go. Try it good out. Good to go. <laughs> It's not bad, honestly. I agree. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, my God. I got to wash it down with some Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Tito's and Red Bull on standby for the wash down. <laughs> Ooh, girly. I don't know. It's, it's really good. It's just different, you know? Yes, absolutely. All right, we're going to put it over here, and we're going to have people try it when we're done. Okay, so let's talk badness first. Uh-oh, there's bad news. There's bad news. All right. So, okay. The minimum wage increase obviously happened. Yes. So what has the outcome been like? What do we know? So I did, What do we know? I did some research. Check this junk out. 80% of the restaurants in the United States have increased their prices. Yes. Which, I mean, you'll notice, I got, I got like, a, a, local, a local takeout recently, like two chicken dishes, which usually would be like, I don't know, $10, $11, 12 tops. They're $19 now. Wow. But, you know, it is what it is. I understand it. I mean, we had to increase some prices at both my places just a little bit. Yeah. But they're talking that they're eliminating jobs. They're cutting the hours of operation, which I completely get that as well. A lot of places that do specialize in breakfast, they're like, we're not doing lunch anymore or vice versa, you know? Oh, for sure. You know, it's hurting people. And one in five restaurants are saying that to remain in operation with this labor cost, it's not going to work for them. Ooh. So... I'm, question, I'm seeing a lot of the restaurants down in uh, in Palm Beach County and Broward County are closing one or two days a week now. Yeah, they're eliminating hours. Yeah. But what's interesting is I have noticed an increase in high-end steakhouses. Huh. How weird is that? I guess people are just like, well, now if we're going to go out, we're going to go out with a bang and make it really yeah. count. I feel like... <laughs> I feel that's completely it. I mean, it's that it's either they're not going to do their everyday, you know, even like if you just want to go to Longhorn or Olive Garden, something easy, it's costing you for two people with a drink, $75. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's crazy. But so that's the bad news. And there's a fabulous place down south. You know, it's what is that expressway that runs like east and west? And there's a mall. Uh, oh, Sawgrass. Yeah. So there's a place called Grand Lux Cafe. It's okay. Fancy. It's a giant buffet place. It's really fancy. You can eat fancy food as much as you want. They close permanently. Oh, no. So, I mean, it's happening, and it's going to keep happening. So I don't know what 
the people in charge are going to do about this, but it's just sad. It is sad. So that's the bad news. It's 19 days till Christmas. That's the good news. <laughs> and 26 days till New Year's Eve. So if you don't have plans, guys, you better get your butts in gear. Yep. So, all right. I have come across the coolest thing in the world. In the world? In the world. And it's not, um, not for you and I. We won't care about this. But we know a lot of people that would care about this. <sighs> Guess. What could it be about? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you can't guess. That's all right. Seltzers. All right, so this is Seltzers. Check this out. Truly.com has just come out with this is amazing. This is, they just launched the topper. This goes on top of your seltzer, not the seltzer, but truly.com. It's the only place you can get it. Truly.com. Seltzer. That's not the right seltzer, but it's truly.com. And they've got this thing, it's called the topper. And you snap it together with two, two different truly seltzers. And it has a dual flavor tunnel, spill proof seal, an anti guzzling technique, which that's weird. And <laughs> it's dishwasher safe. But they say that with all their flavors and this dual flavor tunnel, you can get 485 different flavors to put together. Wow. I mean, I guess for seltzer lovers, it's cool because you could do like a lime something and a peach something and you can make up all your own flavors. Oh my goodness. Amanda, if you're out there watching, you can do watermelon and strawberry. <laughs> and it's only $4.99. Very cool. Unfortunately, I checked last night and it sold out. Ah. But, you know, maybe if you check every other day, it might come back in stock or something like that. But totally cool. And it's got the anti guzzling technique built in. That's so <laughs> funny. Because, <laughs> yeah, I want to guzzle seltzer. But, anyway. Yeah, for sure. So, Vera Wang, speaking of New Year's Eve, Vera Wang, our favorite wedding dress lady and all of her fancy dresses, has champagne. She has a Prosecco out. This Ooh. is a new one. And this is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's called Holiday Vibes. It's only 25 bucks. You can get it anywhere. I'm going to try to get some this week. So you can look fancy walking into your party with that in your hand. Very nice. Yeah. You know. Or let's see. What else we got? This is like all about gifts. The Guinness Cookbook. This is pretty Ooh, cool. I think that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So they have like over 70 recipes for cooking and baking with Ireland's famous beer. Nice. Yeah. And it's Amazon or Barnes and Noble you can get it at. But that, I think, you know, like they were showing this beef stew yesterday and man, it looked really, really good. I don't know why. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Oh, my tongue's got cayenne on it. I would try some beef stew made with Guinness. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you guys, if you're watching, please say hi because we can't see who's watching. People always ask me, hey, why didn't you say hi? Because we can't see unless you say something. Yeah, we need to know. <laughs> you know, if you are watching, just say hi, throw us a wave or something because we don't know who's watching. But there's some other cool stuff. Like if you go to Etsy.com, and this picture wouldn't come through, but it was a beautiful decanter for like a bourbon or maybe a, some sort of whiskey. But it's beautiful. And it's like under $50, $60, and it's all etched. You can put their name in it or, you know, favorite bartender appreciation, something, whatever you want. Well, whatever you want. <laughs> Etsy.com. So that's some really cool ideas, you know. Christmas because we've got 19 days left and I think yeah next Monday is the last day you can send gifts in the mail is that correct Ooh, I was not aware of that because it's gonna be what the like oh, 13th or something like that I don't know oh my but, gosh yeah it's time to get that going it is so 
that's that's really about it. And you know what's crazy is I was reading also beer is on the decline and whiskey's up for the third quarter in a row in 2021. So that's what brought me to find that bourbon whiskey decanter because everyone's buying whiskey. There you go. Not me. It's winter time. That's why whis that's why whiskey's on the upsell. That's true, because we forget that down here. We do, we forget, but everywhere else it's cold. People drink more whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. So also, if you are local, don't forget to get on the bus. That's the 12 pumps of Christmas bus that you can get on. I know the gin mill still has a couple seats left and a couple of the other locations have a couple seats left. And you guys, it is so much fun and you won't get in any trouble drinking and driving. You just get on the bus, you hop around and they've got all sorts of crazy stuff, silent discos and trivia and stuff that you can do. So make sure you get on that bus. But until then, you know, you can make your Mexican spiked hot cocoa. You can. Please do. And let me know, let Judy know, what do you think about it? Because I, I, I can't figure it out yet. I like the whipped cream. I don't know, but I was, I was um, secretly telling Mary Dawn before the show, my favorite hot cocoa drink is you make your hot chocolate with your hot water or your milk, however you choose, and then add a shot of vanilla vodka and a shot of Kahlua, a little bit of whipped cream. Oh, hot chocolate, Ooh. white Russian to die for. You made me just think I'm going to go out and buy milk to bring to work with me tonight. There you go. <laughs> it's just been so long. People just haven't been ordering. And a guy last night said to me, hey, you don't have milk here. I said, no, but I'll get it because I know people like it. But, you know, it's just weird. I think the white Russian is back. I think so. Maybe that's a winter thing, too. You know, he actually asked for a Colorado Bulldog. Have you ever heard of Ooh. it? No. What is that? White Russian with a splash of Coke on the top. Huh. I'll have to try that one. It was years ago when I worked back in, in Rochester, New York at Paradise Alley. I had a fellow bartender, God rest his soul, Jason Fenlon. He always said, I got to have a Colorado Bulldog. And I said, what is that? He told me. I started, you know, try it out. It really gives it that extra, almost like a, a Coke float, but a white Russian Coke float. Okay. It was delicious. So maybe we should do a white Russian segment. Maybe we should. All the things you can do with your white Russians. <laughs> but you know what's interesting? When I went to work at a bar, the gin mill here in Florida, I went to shake this gentleman's white Russian years ago. And he said, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean? He goes, don't ever shake a white Russian. What are you I talking said, about? <laughs> That's what I said. But you know what? I've been Googling it. That's true. You're really? You're supposed to let it layer dark, light, and the milk, and then you take your stir stick, and if you wish, you swizzle it around. Oh, okay. Because the white Russian started as a black Russian originally, and it was a gentleman's drink, which is the Kahlua and the vodka. Yes. Then some girl probably came by and said, I want one. Add some milk. You know. Add some, add some cream on mine. Make right, it fluffy. I want something that tastes good, but it's not strong and it's sweet. And I want it, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, who doesn't love a white Russian? I don't know anybody that doesn't love one. So maybe that's what we'll do soon. Yeah. But guys, listen, I'm so excited. I hate to run, but I got to go. I got to go see the Buffalo Bills. I got my garb on. I'm ready to go. We're going to win this tonight. Fingers crossed. Good luck for your Buffalo Bills. And until then, we want to thank our sponsors so much for helping us out. Exchange of America, you guys, if you need to travel and exchange your money, that's where you want to go. Exchangeofamerica.com. Check them out online. Inked Graphics in Port St. Lucie, they do it all. KG Pro Renovations. Booze Bandage, of course, because nobody wants a hangover. The that's Jim right. That's right. The Jim Hill Port Pierce, and of course, 16 years yesterday, bogeys and stogies in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Judy. And let's go drink our booze and go team. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Bye.